Hey guys, we're taking a look at our winter micro grow. We're gonna harvest this mango plant today. You can see all the yellow leaves and withdrawing all the nutrients from it. And this is the one that had a pretty bad thrips issue that we brought in from the dispensary where we got the clones. But it's got a really nice smell to it. And uh, we did use method one, but unfortunately I didn't get it soon enough. And they were already quite into flowering. Okay, so this plant was vegged for four weeks and then flowered under a 70 watt high pressure sodium. It's growing in about a gallon and a quarter of composted wood chips mulched with fresh, fresh wood chips and it was fed with fish emulsion. So originally these clones were going to go into winter grow in the greenhouse that didn't work out. That's kind of why I kept them even though they had the thrips because I thought I was going to put them outside and I knew out there it wouldn't be an issue because you had natural predators and stuff. All right, so that's the mango. Okay, so next to it is the OG Pie Breath. And that was growing exactly the same way as the mango you just saw. So four weeks in veg. And then flowered under 70 watt high pressure sodium. So this one had a lot more of an indica character and it had much less of uh, the thrip issue. And the leaves are a lot actually sturdier and like waxier on this one so maybe it just has some natural resistance so both of them have been kind of lollipopped where we have just a primary first order growth that was topped here then we have just kind of the bare second order growth except for this branch back here you can see some third order growth and kind of interesting thing here is that the oldest one is here sorry about the shakiness then the second oldest one is there this one and then the ne and the youngest one is this one here so it goes this one now one this one why I'm not sure Maybe this one just got better uh, light orientation or something. But usually I like to strip them down because you can see the ones that we did leave behind, you know, these lower ones don't do much under such a low intensity light. This one got quite a nice flat canopy of top colas. That are nice and dense. And the Soji Bright Breath to me smells like a, a pomelo. And the plant still looks a bit better than the mango, so I think I might keep flowering it for a few more days while I trim that other plant. So I got my little scope. I'm going to see if I can uh, get some video of these guys close up. 
Alright, so I strapped this little Iwata scope to my phone. Let's see if, oh, there's something. Oh yeah, this is going to work. So I just zip tied it on basically. So this is the mango. So what do you guys think? Cloudy? And the focal length on this is crazy. Okay, so yeah, I think I see a couple amber there, mostly cloudy. So it looks like a good point to harvest, huh? What about this sugar leaf here? Okay, so let's look at this other nug of mango next to it. Oh yeah. All right, so what about the soju pie breath? It's still on the plant. So, yeah, it's going to be difficult to get a stable shot. What if I push one of these nogs against the wall here? Try to stabilize it that way. A crazy color on that one. Yeah, so this one looks like it's pretty much ready to harvest as well. Alright, so just trying to find some other stuff I can show you with this little MacGyver microscope. Here's a, a kernel of Dakota black popcorn. Here's a millipede, a really small one that you see in the wood chips all the time. They're a primary decomposer eating uh, decaying wood. That's its head there. And this one's been dried out for a while. But you can still see a bunch of its legs there, but most of those are missing. Alright, so next we got a bit of wood chip here, taken over by mycelium. Oh wow, there it is. You can just about make out the hyphal threads there, I think. See if we can zoom in. It's like silk. Okay, let's try a different piece. 
stuff looks pretty dried out. But I'm sure it's still alive. So to be able to identify the actual species, I'm pretty sure this is uh, Strafaria. To, to identify, identify the actual species, you would have to look at it under a microscope, and better yet, look at a spore. Magnification much more powerful than this. That red thread is almost definitely a man-made one. Something landed on it. There you go. Alright, so I got some of this mango trimmed up here. Just a rough trim. So what I think I'll do is I'll keep these top denser buds and then this lower larfy stuff I'll process for extract so cannabis oil and we already got a good beginning to a nice trim trim pile here so here's another one I just trimmed up There you go. See you guys in the next one.